Okay, so import how to import data from Excel and create a table in Access. So go to the location where I have the files. I have it under users downloads. It could be any table that you have data. Now I just pick the zip code then it's relevant to this. All right, you have an option. <coughs> you can append to the table that ex already exists that you created, right? You can link data source by creating a linked table or just import and create a new table. That's what we want. And click OK, then Access is going to do its jobs, right? It's going to ask you do you want to make the first row as the column name? Yes. And these are the fields that it's going to put in. Which looks fine. Go next. Like you can modify and change if you'd like to change the field name. This is a point and the data type. Now the primary key is gonna be a concern. Like I gonna, I'm gonna add it. Let's access add the primary key as the ID name, right? That new field. The original data we don't have that. See that? So like database always have to have the primary key is important. And name it let's name Yes. Uh let's name it. I'm gonna name it zone. Okay. The table name zone is gonna show up after that. Just close that. There you go. I just make a table, that's another way to make table. And I save ton of time, right? If you have the Excel. And it's generate all the fields for you. Right? So that's another way. If you feel like you want to enter the data on Excel first, since you feel comfortable with it, they have better tools you could and then just import to access. Alright, next I just try to show you that. Remember, we do the lookup, right? So the lookup is under the location. All right. So now, if I type, I only have three, right? I can actually look up my zip too, right? Look up my state too. And if I can look up actually my city and state, I don't need these two fields anymore. <laughs> I can just do zip. So. Actually, like I just said, uh, this is not necessary if I want to revise my design here. Right? And I can just do zip and make it as lookup. And lookup to an existing table, the first option. Last time I showed you the second one when we do manually type in. So now the zone, right? And it's going to ask you which fields of zone contains the values you want to include it in your lookup field. The fields you select becomes become columns in your lookup field. Okay, so we can have more than one. It can show up. Like I said, it can show up the city too, the zip too, right? and state like that, that's why i said if i have zip i don't really need the city and state anymore right i can have more latitude longitude world region uh that's the country right we have country right but now this is only table for the united states so i don't really have the country on that it's just blank see only us for now right which if you want I can add a country but it's only for the US at this point right okay 
you can make an order into a zip ascending mm. uh, let me try I want country to go down right right there the order uh, and this is ascending if you want to ascending by state name that's fine too ascending by country name and after state to city and country right it looks it's gonna look like that finish yes so let's see what we get now if I enter the new I say new street city Springfield <coughs> state hmm. there you go so out of first that pig is going to show up here right if I start to type some Springfield right like I said this three field is not necessary now if we have that right but in your design you just need to add another table named zone like now I don't have that and it's zone is going to pretty much just link with a zip right so that's another way yes relationships amongst the tables right this is just an example of relationship you've seen that I wish Ron has a good question so we gonna look at relationships voila you see this relationship it make it for you that's why you asked me how did we link here right primary key f like just say is links to zip so this is a foreign key there right and this is primary key here with a golden key now we gotta do the same thing with other table. So pay attention. This can be complicated. So let's start from our design first. We say we have the package. We drag the package in. Right. And we want to know who sent this. That means we drag the sender in. There's no relationship, correct? We said this is a foreign key. This guy is sending this package. We just drag it and drop it on there. We get the pop-up relationships. One too many. Yeah, one sender can have many packages, right? One sender can have many packages. Looks fine. Create it. There you go. Same. I want to know this package belongs to the recipients. I have the recipient. Recipient. Drag it in. And make relationships. So recipients. Primary key to foreign keys. On the package table. The recipient ID. One recipient can receive many packages one too many create it right so one sender can send many packages and one packages can belong to many I mean many packages can belong to one response right so that's the relationships between package and response now let's talk about we have locations how we can make address part links to the package and send it response we already have that table ready. Restance. I'm going to keep going, right? So, re restaurant ID. Right. Because here, right? Like one restaurant can have many restances, right? same as the sender one sender can have many residences one too many 
All right, so, and what's next, Tim? Contact, right? We want to know the phone number and emails. So I'm going to bring the contact table in. Let me move this kind of away a little bit. And I'm going to paste the contact here first. So we said contact, we have contact book. Now, we thought that sender can have many contacts, right? So that's why we have contact book here. So sender to sender, one sender can have many contacts, right? As well as one recipients can have many contacts. Let's see. And then contacts can kind of links to contact right there, right? Okay, so now we need to link less than to first package here, right? Can kind of link to let me move this to right to make it easier to read. <laughs> okay. How to make it easier to read. We have sender and response packages right there, right? Okay, contact sender. All right. Need my room. So we said address ID has to link to package too. Because we want to know where is the package, right? Let's verify one location to one package. One package to one location. Okay, so this integrated means if the location is changed, right? Like the package can always change the location. So that's why I want it to be update, right? Let me make sure I close everything else. Let me close all and reopen this again. Okay. So I'm going to try to link. I'll just go to database uh, let me close this database tools and relationships Right, we we want to keep track where is the where is the package, right? And I cannot do that because I left the package open.